Muzaffar's son is very active, huh? mashallah. Tell him why he's writing these questions himself. Okay. Uh, Mansoor Ahmed Clark again. Uh, he says, what does, what's the meaning of merciful? Merciful. What does that mean? What? Merciful. He wants to know. Mercy? Merciful. Merciful. Anyone, anyone who is kind to others and shows regard for somebody's uh, sensibilities, one, if one is kind to anybody, if one does not like someone to suffer, these are all things which are indicated by the word mercy. So anybody who is equipped with this quality is called merciful. If you're kind even to ants, to mosquitoes, to things, all around you, then you are very merciful. Are you merciful? Good. Please. He, he has another two questions as well. Two questions, you, okay. Uh, his second question is, uh, how do you become holy? Holy? Yes. If you act holy, you become holy. What do you understand by the word holy? Holy means anybody who carves his life, who disciplines his life in view of the pleasure of Allah. That is also called taqwa. Fear of losing the pleasure of Allah is called taqwa. So anybody who shapes his life in accordance, in accordance with Allah's pleasure, the more he does so, the holier he becomes. So if that's what you want to do, whatever you do in life, find out from your parents whether Allah is pleased by these things. If the answer is yes, then as you grow you will become holier and holier. Understand? Good. His third question you've already answered, Hazur, which was, why do you go to lots of countries? What? His third question, you've already answered. Uh, his question right, was, yes. yeah. Now the other boy, next. Okay. Uh, this is from Sheikh Mus, uh, Musavar Ahmed, who's at the back. Uh, and he asks, what is it like being a Khalifa? What, what, it is, what is it like being a Khalifa? Well, it's a very short question which requires a very long answer. The life of a Khalifa is woven with two threads, black and white. Simultaneously, he suffers and he enjoys because news gets pouring in from all over the world which creates concern in the heart of Khalifa for humanity's for humanity as such, suffering from earthquake or problem, other problems, and Ahmadiyya Jamaat in particular, when they are uh, ill-treated by others, these are things which are referred to by me as woven in black. But also there are good news from all over the world pouring in every day that how many, the, so many people have converted to Ahmadiyya. This new law has been created in a country in favor of Ahmadiyya. New radio and television propaganda is now being made available to us in the national radio and television services. These are something, a few things which were conveyed to my, me by Vakilu Tafsir this very morning. So, also, the sad news of different types comes in. People misbehaving with their, their own family, their children, or uh, renegating from Ahmadiyyat and so on. So that is how it feels like being a Khalifa, to have a simultaneous life of happiness and sorrow. Thank you. Thank you.
Yes, Fahanuddin of Huddersfield asks, will there be a neutral area between heaven and hell where people will stay during the day of resurrection? You see, there is no neutral area. Either the people are going to go to hell or people are going to go to heaven. In that so-called neutral area, the people who will go to hell will also suffer during that period of what you say neutrality. Subconsciously they will know that their future is not good. And those who are happy, who are going to go to heaven, they also enjoy happiness of some sort, not as clearly as when they will be re-delivered in the next world, but some sort of happiness they do enjoy, like babies in the tombs of their mother. The ill babies begin to suffer even before they are born. The healthy babies enjoy themselves in the wombs of their mothers and occasionally they kick their mothers as well to remind them that we are very happy and strong and very healthy. Eh? So something like this. This you can understand this is an ordinary phenomenon. Imagine something like that happening in that so-called neutral area. Can you? Can, can you imagine? No? Ask your mother, before you were born, how were you behaving in the tummy? She will tell you. If you were born healthily, as I can see that, you must have been enjoying life even before you were delivered. So similarly, in that barzakh which you mentioned, the souls will enjoy their lives if they were heaven bound, heavenly bound, if they were bound to go to heaven. The, the souls which are to be delivered to hell, they will have their small share of suffering during this period of birth of which you mentioned. This you understand? Good, thank you. And only one question. After that, we'll have to leave for the prayer. Yes, sir. The clock is 20 minutes past. Huh? That one is 20 minutes past. Oh, oh, yes, I'm sorry. All the time I've been looking at that. We have still plenty of time. Yes. MashaAllah. Uh, Kamran Khan from New Malden, he asks, during Salat, if the telephone rings, are what? we per if the telephone rings, are we permitted to leave our namaz and pick it up? What rings? If the telephone rings, are we allowed to leave the namaz and pick no. it up? If this happens, then you will never be able to say namaz during your, in your, while you are in your house. Because telephone ring at odd times, all day, any time they can ring. So the namaz will be disturbed. It is much better to say namaz in a room where you do not even hear the ring of a telephone. Understand? Good. Uh, Naveed Ahmed from Tooting, he says, what are your views on cloning? I have expressed my views on cloning many times before. It's a very stupid act of mass suicide. If cloning is done, to humans, like some half-mad scientists are doing it, even if it is forbidden in America, they are planning to go to South America, where it is not forbidden, to clone humans. The result would be that artificially born children will be born, artificially uh, born children would appear in the world looking similar in their shapes, but their psyche will be different.